You want to know what, guys? As we move along day by day and week by week into every NBA season that comes and goes, it's just crazy to me to think that no matter what we go through as fans of the NBA, no matter what happens every single year, this league somehow still has a way of completely shocking me more than I ever have been before. And if you are still somehow unaware of what I'm referring to in this video, if you did not see recently, Blake Griffin, who was under the final year of his NBA contract, recently reached a buyout agreement with his team, the Detroit Pistons. Which ultimately led to Blake Griffin becoming an unrestricted free agent in the middle of the 2021 NBA season. And with this happening, as you guys can assume, a lot of talk was circulating through the media of what team was going to be able to pick up Blake Griffin for the remainder of the season. And you guys probably know, with myself being an avid NBA fan, this really did excite me. It really got me thinking about what team Blake Griffin might go to. The first couple of teams that popped into my head of where I could see Blake Griffin possibly going to were teams like the Portland Trailblazers, the Miami Heat, maybe even the Phoenix Suns. I'm not sure, you guys, but when I saw this, it was very exciting to see, I will say that. But instead, with what happened was pretty much the one thing I can confidently say that the entire NBA fan base, besides the Brooklyn Nets fans in itself, did not want to see happen. And if you still somehow haven't caught on to what I'm getting at, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Yes, Blake Griffin is now a Brooklyn Net. Now, I could sit here and tell you guys how I personally feel about this situation, but I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with this. No matter what side of this situation with Blake Griffin signing with the Nets you may be on, but what I want to do in this video is get into a major point with what has happened to the Brooklyn Nets after Blake Griffin signing with them, that many people, as I have seen through social media, since Blake Griffin has announced he will sign with the Brooklyn Nets, don't quite seem to understand. As you guys probably know, I am more than excited to get into another NBA video of ours here on the channel, but before we do, you guys know the drill, I'm going to save you all the time right now and give you 5 seconds to go down below and subscribe. If you guys haven't done so yet, believe me when I say this, you will want to hit that button. Coming out with brand new NBA content on a weekly basis around here covering trending NBA topics, countdown videos, what if scenarios, you guys know by now the list goes on and on. While you're down there, make sure you hit that push notification bell as well, that way you guys get notified every single time we post a new video around here. Also while you're down there, you guys, if you could, don't forget to slap a like on the video as well if you are going to enjoy it. I appreciate all the support around here, you guys know it by now, I cannot say it enough, so thank you. But without further ado, Let's get into this video. Now, getting into this video, one of the main reasons I am creating this video is due to the fact of what I have been seeing on social media in the mere six hours since Blake Griffin has agreed to sign with the Brooklyn Nets and me actually making this video for you guys. And what I have been seeing myself is a lot of people kind of ranting and saying on social media that Blake Griffin is completely washed, that he is not the player that he once was with the Detroit Pistons and the Los Angeles Clippers, which I mean is clear as day. I mean, pretty much anybody can call this out, but I have seen people on social media go as far as to say that Blake Griffin will hurt what the Brooklyn Nets have currently, and that he will pretty much just hurt their team chemistry overall, and pretty much saying that he is not an all-star caliber player anymore. Which, I could be completely wrong with saying this, but I think that this statement is the farthest from the truth in terms of what Blake Griffin can still do on the basketball court. And I really do think most of this has to do with what the media pushes in terms of our coverage with Blake Griffin, as I still believe he is an all-star caliber player. Now, don't get me wrong, I know most most of you or some of you even are going to try to flame me in the comments for saying this as we have seen Blake Griffin's numbers so far this year are uh yeah, they're not very good. As in just a 20 game span so far this season, Blake Griffin has put up averages of 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. Which I am well aware, these are not all-star caliber numbers, and I do know as well that Blake Griffin has not been playing up to the potential the Detroit Pistons have probably been holding him to over the course of the last one or two seasons. But with how far it has been going from what I've seen on social media in terms of the Blake Griffin slander, I felt like I had to make a video on this. Because if you don't understand this, I need to reiterate the point that if you did not already think that this team in Brooklyn was the greatest assembled NBA team of all time, I honestly feel like adding Blake Griffin to this just put the cherry on top in terms of ending that argument. Now, team chemistry with this is a completely different story, and who knows, Blake Griffin might honestly hurt the team chem. This is going to be a thing where we're going to have to wait and see how it pans out. But once again, it is just crazy to me what I have been seeing on social media talking about Blake Griffin as we are talking about a six-time All-Star and five-time All-NBA player, who in his last healthy season put up averages of 
of 25, 7.5, and, and 5.5 and per game. And the Brooklyn Nets, considerably the best team in the NBA already at this point, are signing this man to what is relatively seemed to be a veteran minimum contract. And you're telling me that this is not a good move and it's going to hurt the team? Again, as I mentioned previously, chemistry will be the ultimate downfall of this team if Blake Griffin somehow messes up the chemistry that KD, Harden, and Kyrie already have together because it seems to be working pretty good so far. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys straight up, I don't see that happening. Like you guys, with the recent ridiculous trade they pulled off for James Harden over a month ago and now on top of this, signing Blake Griffin to a minimum deal, this is bringing me back Golden State Warriors 2019 vibes. To be straight up, I don't think this team would ever form if the 2019 Warriors never became a thing, but we're not going to talk about that right now. As we have arguably three of the greatest scorers in the NBA right now all playing together on the same team and now you're adding Blake Griffin to the mix like you guys to put it as simply as I can I am genuinely speechless about what is happening with this team as I already mentioned previously now on paper and pending what they do in the future in terms of winning an NBA championship this could very well be the greatest NBA team ever assembled right in front of our eyes because I am going to reiterate the fact that I confidently believe and we will find out in due time as the season progresses but Blake Griffin is simply not washed I really do think he is going to add more to this team than a lot of people are anticipating right now. And for those of you that I can see now are going to go into the comments and say that you are a Brooklyn Nets fan, this video is completely biased. However, to set the record straight, I am not a Brooklyn Nets fan. Believe me, I wish I was with what they have been doing recently and how they are the odds-on favorite to win the NBA championship right now, but I am not. I simply just wanted to come out here with a video today and kind of talk about this situation with you guys and address the half of social media that seems to believe that Blake Griffin is well above the player that many people on social media are giving him credit for right now. It's just really funny to me too because it seems that most of the people that are calling Blake Griffin washed on social media after he signed with the Brooklyn Nets are some of the same people that would be head over heels excited if Blake Griffin would have decided to sign with their favorite team. Believe me, it's not everyone out there. I know there are some people that are firmly confident in sticking with the fact that they believe Blake Griffin is washed and they did not want him on their team and I respect your opinion, but as a neutral NBA fan, I'm really just hoping this signing by Blake Griffin with the Brooklyn Nets will kind of kickstart his second half of his career and get him going on the right path. As we can see that over the course of the last two years or so, he has really been trying to restructure his game to fit the NBA and how the play style is today. Don't get me wrong, however. As I mentioned at the beginning, I really wish that Blake Griffin would have maybe signed with the team like the Phoenix Suns or the Miami Heat so he can get some more minutes and maybe take on a bigger load of the team's play. But what are you going to do, you guys? It is what it is. It's the NBA. You've been watching the league as long as I have, probably. You know how crazy things can get. So that is what I'm going with in this video, you guys. I really think that this is going to show people that Blake Griffin is worth more than people are giving him credit for. And on top of that, when it is all said and done this year, this team is going to go down as the greatest assembled team in NBA history. This may come back to be a brutally wrong take when it is all said and done, but I'm all about making hot takes here. So on that note, that is going to mark the end of the video for today. I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed the video as always. And if you did, once again, don't forget to leave a like on the video down below and subscribe as well. I can't say it enough, you guys. Brand new NBA videos every single week. You really couldn't ask for much more around here. The channel really has been growing like crazy over the course of the last couple weeks, so I just want to say one more time, I cannot express how appreciative I am of each and every one of you guys. You guys all mean the world to me, and I just want to say again how thankful I am that you guys continue to come back and watch my content every single week. So, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.